Hello YouTube. This is my part four video on the deep dark side of ham radio that your mama don't even want you to know. Next I'm going to talk about IRLP. Now if you're new to ham radio, IRLP means Internet Radio Linking Project. This IRLP is based on Linux. Okay. Now, when I first got into it, I decided to, you know, get involved with uh, IRLP. But the problem is, nobody knows. Even the most brilliant ham radio minds don't even know. I find that pretty hilarious. <laughs> but, you know, a couple people decided to get together and link their <laughs> repeaters together with uh, voice over IP, which is not a new technology <laughs> that's been around for a while. But uh, what's pretty funny about it is uh, they want to charge you $105 for a board. And if you go to their website, IRLP.net, <laughs> under the FAQs, they don't want you to build your own board because it causes problems. Imagine that. <laughs> Maybe it cause, causes them money problems. Some guy named David Cameron <laughs> wants your dollars on something that he came up with and designed it around Linux, which is totally open source and freeware, but he wants you, the ham radio idiot, to line his pockets. But let me tell you something. This is not new. Voice over IP is not new. Save your bucks. So if you're a ham radio operator, you should have realized by now that your ham radio has been replaced by the cell phone, better known as a mobile device. Also, it's been replaced by social media. Facebook, Twitter, they have totally done away with ham radio. So if you go out and spend 1500 bucks on a new radio, just dial around on it and you will find that there are very few people, maybe on the weekends or early evening, you might find a few people on there, but it's always the same people on ham radio. Don't go with ham radio. Stick with Facebook. There's over a billion people on Facebook. A billion users. Why would you invest your money in something that when there's nobody even involved in it? <laughs> it's pretty ludicrous. The cell phone is totally done away with CB and ham radio. Now what's crazy about it is that you get on and you ask these so-called experts about IRLP nobody knows our IRLP uh, if I'm saying it correct the IRLP internet radio linking project that's because a very few people understand Linux Linux is just another operating system other than Windows for the average user uses Windows, but now Android is pretty much uh, taking over uh, as far as operating systems. But why should I pay Mr. David Cameron 105 bucks for a board when I can just click on qsl.net? And there's a schematic right here. Or I could build my own board. 
But Mr. Cameron wants your thirty dollars for the software that goes that, that that's totally freeware, so that you can link your rig up. If you want to get on the internet, try Skype. <laughs> try Skype. You know, wind system out here in the western United States is real big. And I get on and I ask these people, other operators, the, these so-called experts, well, how does wind system work? Oh, well, just go to windsystem.org and read for yourself. And even after you do that, nobody understands how this works there are very few computer literate people in the ham radio world IRLP this is just a one of many uh, I guess you would call it a protocol for connecting your ham radio to the internet there's also echo link all star link and D star and then one says that the audio was better than the other one who cares try try Skype <laughs> don't waste your money on this crap you know I'll start link that'll be my next video so if you don't like what I'm saying and you don't understand this ham radio world 73 to you too.